that is so dynamic starts so badly, I think it's worth pointing out. Of the 10 field players that started this game, six had dealt with either flu-like symptoms, and those are the ones I'm, I'm saying that we, we knew about, right, yeah. reported, or injuries in the immediate lead up to the final. And I just wonder, her if there wasn't a little, I'm not making excuses for the French team, just realities, if that didn't play a part into the slow start and maybe even the performances specifically from Olivier Giroud who gets pulled in 41. We never heard anything yeah. about Dembélé as an injury doubt, but Giroud we did hear late last night, Lakeep reporting that he suffered a knee knock in training that could affect whether he started this game or not. Clearly Deschamps went with him and clearly he wasn't the same guy we saw the rest of this tournament. Yeah, clearly if you look on paper, what's available, that's the best squad that they had for selection, right? Same back four, same three in the middle, uh, same three up front. But where I thought they had an advantage, at least heading into this game, presuming everybody was healthy, mm -hmm. no injuries, no illness, no viruses, things like that, etc., turned out to be the opposite. So I thought them resting versus Tunisia, mm. resting players, would right. be a benefit to them. Because while most teams are coming in having played seven games, or into their seventh game, excuse me, and some overtimes, if you will, they weren't. They were fresh. But then Argentina has one more day of rest, and you get sick, and then you have some injuries. You could say, those are excuses, and, and sure, Argentina did their part. You know, Ian Dark responded to my tweet about, um, you know, wondering if, if they're still carrying the flu-like symptoms or this virus, and he responded, Argentina is the virus, mm. okay? Argentina was good, right. give them their credit. But you saw a lack of intensity. Yeah, I mean, this, when you're not well, isn't that and, the first thing to go? Of course. And you're not well, and you're coming on to your seventh game, yeah. and you're dehydrated, and you're knocked up, and, and it feels like everything is on top of you emotionally because right. of what's going on in the game. That is normal. It's a reaction. in a away match. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It feels like you're in La Bombonera, eh, Monumental, whatever you want to be. It, it just it felt like everything was against them, but the reaction was brilliant. Yeah, so in the first half we mentioned zero shots on goal, zero shots, period. Um, and then in the second half, what I think really, and I know it's only like 10 minutes, but it's really for me after that second wave of subs at 70. So it's really the last 20 minutes of the game. And then I think it affects all of extra time when the game really opens up. You saw what France has that forget that Argentina doesn't have it. I don't know that there's another team in the world that has as much of it as France does, and that's speed. Speed kills, and you always say, the, and I hate to say you're right, but you always say, say the international game is a young man's that's game. Right. I think a lot of the, what you're saying there is it's an athletic player's game, it's a speed game, and I mean, when Especially you got Colomani on, yeah. when you got Turam on, when you got Mbappe on, I mean, these guys Coleman, were, yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was like a track meet. It really was. It